if you want to know how you can absolutely crush your first few days in terra firma craft, you came to the right place. Welcome everyone, I'm Crafty Joe, and we are playing Terra Firma Craft for Minecraft version 1.18 in the All the Mods Gravitas mod pack. Link in the description below. Today I will be showing you how to not only survive, but to thrive in Terra Firma Craft, and it starts with collecting rocks and sticks you see laying on the ground. Terra Firma Craft is a survival overhaul mod that changes nearly every aspect of vanilla Minecraft, which if you're here I am sure you're probably painfully aware of. Unlike the majority of Minecraft gameplay, you cannot punch a tree, so instead we will use the rock shards and sticks we find on the ground to create some basic crude tools. We will be shaping the stone using napping. Napping is where we shape the stone using a tile-based drawing system to draw out the heads of the tools we need. You can view the shape of the tool heads using JII, or by reading through the Terra Firma Craft Manual in-game. You will need an axe head. Knife blades. A shovel head. And a spear head. Once you have those, craft the tools by combining those with sticks. Next, use the stone axe to gather logs. You will want about two stacks of 16 logs to start. This may take another axe. After you get the logs you need, you will want to dig clay. Clay can be found by looking at the plants around you. Specific plants indicate clay deposits under the ground. Some of those plants are Ethereum Fern, Canna, and Goldenrod. Once you find clay, you will likely need a stack of 64 to start with. After you have found your clay, the real journey begins. Now it is best to explore the map in search of ore fragments on the ground. There are many types of ore fragments, but to start off, you are looking specifically for any ore fragments that smelt to copper. Each ore fragment you find is indicative of an ore vein somewhere beneath the surface of where the ore was found, so I highly recommend you mark the places you find ore fragments so that you can mine them later. You will need at least 30 fragments of copper ore so that you can make your first metal tools. While you search for ores, you will come across many different types of wild vegetables you can use to fill your hunger. Save any seeds you find as these will be incredibly useful later on. You will eventually run out of inventory space and will need some form of portable storage. This is where the clay and logs come in. Clay can be used to shape into pottery items similar to stone napping. You will need to make four clay vessels. The vessels are made by removing each of the four corner tiles in the shaping process. These will provide you a very small amount of additional storage, but first you must fire the clay. Use your shovel to dig one hole, and with the four clay vessels selected, press the letter V to place the vessels in the hole. Once all four are in, you can gather straw by using a knife on grass. You will need eight straw to place in the hole. Then you will need to finish covering the hole with eight logs. Finally, you can use two sticks to make a fire starter and use it on the covered hole to start your pit kiln. This will fire your vessels and once they are cooled, you can store four stacks in each one. Next, if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you enjoy my content.
Continue gathering ores until you have at least 10 copper ores to make a pickaxe. Once you have copper, you will need to use clay to craft a pickaxe mold. After that, place the 10 copper into a vessel and place the vessel along with the unfired pickaxe mold into a pit kiln and light it with the fire starter. When the pit kiln is finished, you can put the pickaxe mold into the vessel to pour the molten copper into the mold. Once it cools, place the filled mold into your crafting window to get your copper pickaxe head. Combine that with a stick and you have successfully completed surviving the beginning of terra firma craft. Please let me know in the comments below if this was helpful or if I missed anything important. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.